<clears throat> Alright, I've been wanting to give my opinions on the, the John Jones uh, situation with the UFC. Um, if you haven't heard, John Jones is arguably the, in my opinion, the best fighter to ever live um, in, in MMA. And uh, everyone everyone has him pound for pound, the number one fighter on the planet. Um, about a, two weeks ago, supposedly, is what they, you know, they, he got in a car accident, a hit and run. And I guess the, I guess the driver was pregnant, and he did some he did she got some kind of serious injuries or some kind of injuries, um, and the story is also that he even he left the scene, came back to the scene, grabbed a wad of cash, and then ran back and then ran again. Um, it sounds a little extreme or crazy, um, but anyway. So and then so once that happened, he was he was fighting UFC 187, which was coming up against Anthony Johnson. And they they pulled him from UFC 187. Then they stripped the light heavyweight title from him. They put Daniel Cormier Cormier in to replace him. Um, on top of that, Reebok dropped Jones, and that's the second uh, big athletic wear company to drop him after because Nike dropped him two years ago when he had the the car accident and got the DUI. Um, and then UFC took Jones out of the UFC rankings as well, which I think is a little you know corny, but whatever. Um, so, so, so basically right now they would, you know, Jones is, like I said, I, I put him the pound for pound best fighter on the planet right now. A lot of people have him number there. Um, I think he, he, he's not easy to deal with is what the UFC would call, right? And he hasn't been the whole, his whole career. And, um, you know, even on top of his Twitter, he says proud Christian, a proud, you know, Christian or someone close to God isn't going to, you know, play Satan's game or, or isn't going to sell out on certain things that maybe others would. I mean, don't, you know, George St. Pierre was the welterweight champion and left with the belt. He saw this coming because, you know, if you read history or read, you know, listen to any, you know, do any kind of um, research, you, you know, you hear, all, all, you know, successes like suicide, most kings get their heads cut off. You know, they build you up just to build you back, you know, just to break, build you up just to break, break you down again. Um, you know, John Jones was the youngest champ in history in UFC. I think he was champion at 23. Um, he's he's 21 and one on his record. That's what it says. But he's 22 and 0. The one the one loss was a disqualification. He was in full mount, elbowing Matt Hamill, and they they called a 12 to six um, illegal elbow. It was bullshit. But I mean. Any real, real people, real fans should know. But you know, it, he would have been bigger because he could say the undefeated thing, twenty-two and zero. Like, I almost felt they didn't even want John Jones to ever get this far anyway. And um, uh, and then even Anderson Silva, the other guy, because GSP Silva and Jones are, are kind of like the three big stars of the new age. Silva loses to Wyman. You know, he gets knocked out, breaks his legs, second fight, comes back to Nick Diaz, gets bet they bust him for roids. And you know they're, you know, you know, people are almost gonna forget what he was. I feel. Um, John Jones, the guys he beat, right? And, and this is interesting to me. You know, just on let me let me run through the names first. And this is in order of that I had the guys. Uh, there was maybe a couple I did leave out, but name wise, okay. Stephen Bonner, Stephen Bonner, Matt Hamill. That's who he got the disqualification against, but he dominated him. Brandon Vera, Ryan. Oh, uh, actually, sorry. After Brandon Navarro, Vladimir Machyshenko, Ryan Bader, Shogun Hua, Rampage Jackson, Lyoto Machida, Rashad Evans, Vitor Belfort, Chael Sonnen, Alexander Gustafson, Glover Teixeira, Daniel Cormier. That I just need you 14, arguably 14, 14 great light heavyweights. It's fourteen of the you know great some of the fourteen of the greatest light heavyweights UFC's ever had. And you know, one of two things. UFC either is it, this is a you know, they're gonna run with this ploy and, and and hopefully Jones comes back bigger because of it, you know, that love love or hate him, you're still gonna watch. Or they you know I just don't know if they anticipated a John Jones. And if they did anticipate it, 
they didn't anticipate the other stuff that was about the other stuff that kind of happened in the sport. And I'm gonna make another video about the downfall of UFC. I mean, it really is all the sports, but um, but uh, he, he so UFC just came up with this Hall of Fame, right? If they came up with the UFC Hall of Fame, the guys are gonna put in light heavyweight uh, Hall of Fame, Shogun, Rashad, Machida, Rampage. Um, Bonner maybe, just off uh, the Ultimate Fighter fight. That UFC Hall of Fame now will never, the light heavyweight will never be the same because John Jones obliviated everyone he could have had. They, there's no one left. The only guy left is Anthony Johnson. Again, how the sport hasn't evolved. Anthony Johnson would, could, would barely top 10, 170 or somehow went up to 205, beat three top 10, 205ers, and now it's a title fight. Something happened, you know. UFC stopped evolving. I'm gonna, but like I said, I'm gonna make my own. No, I'm, I'm trying to, uh, you know, simplify them all. Uh, so the, so the Jones again. I, what I think this is, and so here it is. I think, being a Christian, knowing that they already he had, that he was already tough to deal with. They had a it was contract negotiations. Also knowing where they're turning in the sense of like, passion. Maybe having to throw a fight. I hate to say that, but. You know, UFC is where boxing is, and that was where boxing is, or was, or where, how the, it's the evolution boxing made. And, um, you know, so, you know, someone with honor isn't gonna agree. And John Jones is a strong man who has honor. And, um, you know, another thing too that was interesting a Chael Sonnen interview when they asked him about the whole John Jones situation. He, um, he was asked what you know what he thought. He's like he's like honestly I don't understand the UFC's decision. Um, this is kind of quote unquote what he said, but he says so. Basically, so when Jones comes back, does he get put in a number one contender fight, or do you put him right in the title fight? But he doesn't walk out as a champ when he never lost in the first place. He's right. What do you do? You know, and Malky Kawa, John Jones' manager, also said, "Don't be surprised if Jones never fights in the UFC again." Honestly, I think that'd be that's what I think if Jones walks away right now, I mean, and never comes back, I'm okay with it because there's nothing else, there's nothing else to prove. I mean, you know, Bonner, Hamill, Vera, Bader, Shogun, Rampage, Machida, Evans, Vitor, Chael Son, and Alexander Gustafson, Glover Teixeira, Daniel Cormier. He beat every legend, every up and comer. I mean, there's not even heavyweight guys to throw him because the, the, the sport stopped evolving. There's no heavyweight guys. The same heavyweight guys that are, you know, are considered contenders are the same guys that have been there. I mean, Randall's the fat fuck in his top five UFC heavyweights. Have you seen boxing heavyweights in a long time? Um, and like I said, again, the GSP leaving as champ, he knew. You know... John Jones is not a dummy, and like I said, what else? What else is there for him? What? Just wait. There's no. I'm, there's no contenders coming up. I promise. There's no. Like I said, I'm gonna get another one. I think UFC. Um, has decided almost to go their own way, and I think you know. And they're okay with that. The same way Dana White's coming out and bashing John Jones, saying you know a lot of guys have took the John Jones route. You know, not many of not many, if any, have taken the Ronda Rousey route. Like already trying to push him, you know, push him down to build Ronda up. First off, Jones is the best fighter to ever live. UFC, he destroyed your whole entire roster. You have no one. The light heavyweight is destroyed because of John Jones. Like I said, same with a lot of divisions too. George St. Pierre leaving the weight. Where's Cain Velasquez been? No heavyweight contenders. Junior Dos Santos has been the number one contender for four years because no one came up. Fabricio Verdum. Doom. You know, like I said, I'll get into those more. But I believe, I honestly believe we've seen the last of John Jones in the UFC. Cheers.